That's the retaining, um, the promoting of teachers, creating a better work environment. And then again, the most important part of this is the effective educator evaluation. As a research team, we decided that that would be where we want to focus all of our attention, is on these evaluations of teachers. So what, are we, what kind of results are we getting from these um, evaluations? And so if we look at the effective educator evaluation, just that one circle there, this is the, the components in the Utah model. We have, we're, we are looking at student achievement in the classroom. How well are these students doing? We're looking at classroom observations, so someone will come in and observe the teacher and see how she or, or he is doing in the classroom setting. And then we will also have stakeholder surveys. So these are surveys with parents, uh, students, and they will rate this teacher on how well they think they, they are doing. And that's kind of how we're measuring teacher effectiveness in Utah. Okay, and the most exciting part of our research is where it's going. So we've kind of laid the foundation, we've done this, we've done a lot of reading, a lot of research, and analyzing different things as a research team, and this is where it gets exciting. We're gonna be doing a case study of local districts. As Carol McNair said, we are, we are doing it with Box Elder District and Davis District, and, and so we've, we've compiled all this together, and this is basically our literature review. I wish we could be up here for a couple hours and all the research team could explain everything that we found and all the exciting things. But this is, this is the basic, this presentation today. And so with that, we've done this literature review. We're gonna be going into the summer. We're gonna have our first interviews with district personnel. And then we'll have a second interview in the fall of 2013 with those same district personnel to follow up on the progress that, they, that they've had and then also in the spring of 2014, we'll conclude with a third interview of those district personnel. But also we will have a stratified random sample. Uh, so to eliminate sample bias, we'll send out a survey to teachers and building administrators, and we'll get their feedback on how these, how these programs are going. And so as a research team, we'll compile all this analysis together, and we will, through all this research, we'll be able to recommend policy, we'll have policy recommendations on where we feel the, the focus for these programs should go. And so that's the exciting part. We're, we're winding down to that and we're looking into the future of where we want to go with this. And we're excited to find out where, how teachers feel about this and how district personnel are feeling about teacher effectiveness in Utah right now. And so again, on behalf of the Walker Institute, we want to thank you for being here today. And thanks for all, everybody that supported us and helped us with this research so far. Thank you. Thank you, Dallin. Um, the Walker Institute is excited to be um, supporting and helping to promote student research at Weber State University. And we hope to be able to um, to support and uh, and encourage other students to take uh, re take on research projects that we'd like to help them coordinate as well. Um, and hopefully, we'll be able to help this research team find some funding for their important research, which I think um, which I think deserves some further financial support. Um, I'm going to go ahead now and introduce the next uh, the next part of our. Uh, discussion today. Um, that will be our panel discussion on education in Utah. Where are we? Where are we going? Um, when the panel discussion, when the main part of the panel discussion is over, um, then we'll have some time for questions. There'll be microphones, and if you raise your hand, we'll bring the microphone to you and you can ask a question. Um, so just make sure you raise your hand really high, just like in class, right? Um, and we'll bring you a microphone. Um, let me introduce uh, the participants in our panel today. Uh, Nolan Karras is our moderator. Um, Nolan is chairman and CEO of the Karras Company. Um, he earned a Bachelor of Science in Banking and Finance from Weber State College and his MBA is from the University of Utah. He served in the Utah Legislature from 1981 to 1990 where he served as the Speaker of the House. He was on the Board of Trustees of the Salt Lake Olympic Committee and is currently serving as a member of the Utah Board of Regents, although I hear that's, that's not for very much longer. Um, and he's co-chair 
of Education First, a political action committee formed to support educational attainment of the citizens of Utah. And we at the Walker Institute are particularly grateful that he's chair of the Walker Institute Board of Directors. Um, also on our panel is um, former superintendent um, of the Utah Department of Public Instruction, um, Larry Shumway. He's a graduate of BYU and UNLV. He wanted me to call attention to that contrast. Um, <laughs> he is uh, the former coordinator of Carson Smith um, Special uh, Carson Smith Special Needs Scholarship Pro, um, Program. Former director of the Alternative Schools and Programs in Davis School. Um, district, also a uh, former deputy state superintendent and former director of education quality and licensing, um, and also former superintendent of Tooele School District. Um, also, we're lucky to have here today uh, Mark Bouchard. Mark Bouchard is a senior managing director of CBRE. He's involved on many boards of directors. I couldn't actually include them all in my introduction. And most importantly, for our purposes here today, he's chairman of Prosperity 2020 and the chairman of the, the chairman of the Vision and Mission Subcommittee of the Governor's Education Excellence Commission. Um, we're also very lucky to have here today uh, two Utah senators. Senator Jerry Stevenson um, served as mayor of Layton for three terms with over 26 years of city involvement. He's a Utah State Senator, and for the last four legislative sessions, he has served as Vice Chair of Appropriations in the Senate, and he has served for the past three years on the Governor's Excellence in Education Committee. And uh, Senator Osmond is here. Um, he's currently the Vice President of Surfport's North American Business Unit in American Fork. He was appointed to the Utah Senate in 2011, and then was elected to his first full four-year term in 2012, and he's been involved in education